it's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Vadin flow project without using Spring Boot. So why this video? Well, if you go to Vadin.com and click on Get Started or here in the menu as well, um, you'll find these two options to create uh, a new uh, Vadin project. One which is uh, using currently Vadin 14, which is a uh, long-term support version right now, or Vadin 18, which is uh, the latest version. Now, uh, both of these uh, options redirect you to start.vadin.com, which is a tool to kind of create all this scaffolding for an application. Now, the problem with this is that uh, it creates a Spring Boot application and maybe you don't want to use Spring Boot or um, you're not able to use it for whatever the reason, right? And you want to create a new uh, Vadin project. So, so how to do that? If you scroll uh, down here, vadin.com slash start, uh, you'll find this section Hello World Examples, and, and that's what this is all about. So you can hide, you can you can find a um, Hello World example with another one with Spring Boot, um, with a CDI that's uh, Jakarta EE, and this one is the interesting one. So this is with uh, Plain Java. So no Spring, no CDI. So let's click that. Uh, by the way, you can you can inspect the source code without downloading anything here on um, on GitHub. Um, all right, so this creates a, a zip file with a Maven project in it that you can import into any IDE. I'm using an IntelliJ idea here. Uh, have a look at these uh, uh, notes. This is the readme file. So it tells you where to point your browser once you start a kind of a test server if you want, like development server uh, with Maven. Okay, but uh, let's have a look at the uh, pom.xml now. So we have all the usual stuff here. We see that it, this is a, a, a WAR file that's going to be generated. That is a web archive. And you can use that file uh, uh, to kind of, it, that's the file that you deploy to your uh, server, for example, Tomcat or a Jetty that it's not uh, a Maven plugin, but a Jetty that you, you installed in your server. All right, so there are a bunch of properties. Uh, probably you want to use something better than Java 8. And uh, you'll find the repositories. Uh, so this is where Maven is gonna, gonna try to get all the dependencies from. Uh, same for the plugins. And then you'll find the dependency management section with the Vadin bomb. This is a bill of materials is so that you declare the version here and then you don't have to worry about versions later on. For example, this artifact, Vadin, it doesn't um, declare a, a, a version, right? And so forth. So you have all other stuff. So there is the uh, servlet API, and uh, and that's it. But well, there is a, a SLF4J dependency for logging, and the Vadin test bench is in case you want to use that. But um, that's pretty much it. There is no uh, Spring Boot. There is no um, CDI at all. Well, what you're going to find also is that there is a, a default goal here, which is jetty run. That means that if I just run this this command just like that, Maven, it's going to execute Maven jetty run, and you'll find that jetty plugin here, right? So this is this is the one, and um, this is kind of a, it's like having a a server for development, right? So you will need to run, you start the server by using Maven, just by running this thing. So um, so let's try to do that. Now, if you're using, um, if you're using an um, IntelliJ idea, then you'll find all the plugins here. So Jetty is there. Of course, if you remove this, then this is going to disappear. Uh, you might want to use that you, or do that if you have your own server, uh, development server, um, installed in, in with some other tool, a different tool inside IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, but it's pretty convenient, you don't have to do anything. So you have to run this. So you can do it by double-clicking double that option or clicking uh, this uh, uh, button here. That would be uh, like doing this uh, Maven Jetty run. So you don't have to type anything, you just go here and uh, click that. So let's try to run these uh, um, almost empty application. And meanwhile, we can have a look at the 
the actual code. It's pretty simple. There is a, a greet service, and, it, and there is a method that returns a greeting. And we have also main view, which is the um, dividing code. All right, and it probably uses the, the greeting, the greet service class here. Uh, these errors, it's because there is some problem with my machine right now and NPM. So this is, uh, uh, when you do this the first time, it's going to download all these um, all these dependencies that are declared here, plus all the uh, transitive dependencies, that's dependencies that these dependencies need. And also it's going to run something called, uh, let me see if I can see it here, uh, NPM install. This is a node package manager, I believe. And uh, this is for installing, downloading, and installing here all the um, the web components. All right. So once you have done that, you should be able to go to um, localhost 8080, and then the application should should work. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's how you uh, run an application, and at least in Telia idea, uh, it's very similar in other um, ideas. So let's, for example, try to add a breakpoint. So just to, so that you notice something. So I'm going to add a breakpoint here. So I would expect that to stop, but it doesn't. That's because uh, the way I run um, the way I run this um, goal wasn't in debug mode. So I have to do that. So I'm going to stop or stop the the server, which I already did with the shortcut. But you can just uh, um, press this button here. And we need to run this, but in debug mode. So one way of doing this is by creating a running configuration. So uh, uh, you can go there actually by going to by using run and uh, and debug. I just hit this uh, shortcut before, and then you create a new a new project. Sometimes or before I always went uh, straight to this option here. But it's it's not there. It's you should click this plus button and then look for Maven that you can filter. And here the command line is the the goal. So jetty run, and that's it. You can configure a bunch of things here, but you can even uh, change the name for that. But I don't care. I just want to do that with click debug, and um, and then let's see if the uh, breakpoint works at this time. Um, all right, perfect. Let's refresh here. And now it stops. Now you can inspect all the variables. Variables, For example, this is an event for the click listener. You can go out and see a bunch of things or about the text field if you are debugging some kind of uh, um, uh, problem or part of your application. All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for next videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.